Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite vanilla fragrances. Actually these are pretty much all of my vanilla centric perfumes. I do have a couple of other perfumes that have vanilla in them like Mont Guerlain or Valentino Donna Born in Roma but these ones that I'm going to be sharing with you today are more vanilla centric and have vanilla as their main notes. And all of them are amazing but I'm going to try to put them in order from my least to my most favorite so make sure you watch until the end to find out what my top vanilla perfumes are. And if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfumes so if that is your thing make sure to head on down and subscribe. Feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram as well where I share a lot of behind the scenes footage, photos of pretty perfume things, inspiration to declutter and minimize your life, and things like that. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so it's going to be very difficult for me to narrow down my favorite to least favorite vanilla because I love so many of my vanillas so much, um, but I managed to do it. So I am going to save my favorite vanillas for the end. So this one is Nuit et Confidence from Annie Goutel. This one is a little bit newer to my collection. It's in this beautiful um, sort of ombre blue bottle with the little poof on the side. It has the little gem which when it hits the bottle is supposed to represent champagne glasses clinking together. So it has a very celebratory feel to it. And it's just a beautiful kind of a smoky, incense -y vanilla. I have actually sprayed the poof because I wanted to be able to come up to the poof and sniff it. And mm, it smells very, very pretty. It's very like delicate, feminine, and formal smelling, I would say. So the notes that you have in here is black pepper and bergamot. In the middle, you have tonka bean, incense, and white florals. And in the base, you have vanilla and white musk. And the most prominent notes that are in here are vanilla and tonka bean. I do get a little bit of pepper in the opening, a tiny bit. For me, what is the most prominent in here is definitely that vanilla and that tonka bean. And then there's a little bit of some incense and a little bit of white flowers to kind of round it out. This just smells very... It has a very formal feel to it. This is the kind of vanilla fragrance I would wear to a more formal occasion, or should I go to a black tie event or something like that and I wanted something sweet and feminine but a little bit more dressed up, this is the one that I would pick. I wouldn't say it's the most sexy perfume I have in my collection, but it is definitely a flirtatious, sweet vanilla, but I think it's also a mature vanilla, so anyone can wear this of any age. I think it's youthful enough to get away with in your early 20s, but I think you can wear this, you know, all throughout your life. It's just a beautiful, incense-y, tonka bean vanilla, and the bottle is to die for. So that is Nuit et Confidence Anique Goutel. Very good lasting power with this one as well. The next one is in this really adorable, simple bottle, and this is Indel Tijota. So this one is a niche fragrance, and the nose behind this one is actually Francis Kirk John, which makes perfect sense because it is one of the most delectable, delicious vanillas I've ever smelled. I will admit, I have a vanilla problem, you guys. I have... I've, I'm starting to get too many vanilla perfumes in my collection. Like nobody needs the amount of vanilla perfumes that I have. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful, um, musky, easy to wear vanilla perfume that has amazing lasting power. The only two notes that they have in here is vanilla and musk. And what this actually smells like to me a little bit is if you have ever smelt the Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel, I hate to compare a $250 niche fragrance to a Bath and Body Works lotion, but it does smell a little bit like Vanilla Bean Noel, but times a hundred. So a hundred times the longevity, a hundred times the well blendedness, a hundred times the quality. It just smells really like an elevated, sophisticated version of Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, so if you like that kind of scent profile, you will probably really like this. Mm, it's just, it's very, very pleasant. It kind of does remind, it definitely does remind me of the Vanilla Bean Noel. When I smell it, that's kind of what I think of. This is a very soft, tolerable, pleasant vanilla. This is the kind of vanilla you could wear to work if you work in a sensitive environment like myself because it doesn't really smell like you're wearing a perfume. It just smells like you were either baking something delicious or you have on the world's best body lotion. It's a little bit pricey, but you know what, you guys? Every time I put this on my skin, I just couldn't stop sniffing myself. I had a little tiny sample and I couldn't stop sniffing myself. And finally, I was like, you know what? Just get it. You know you love it. Just get it. It doesn't change much. It's very linear, so it's nothing super complex. It's nothing super groundbreaking. It's just one of the best vanillas I've ever had on my skin. So that is Indel Tijota. 
The next vanilla is in this beautiful bottle from Van Cleef & Arpels, and this is Orchid Vanille. This one is also a very well-known popular vanilla. Um, I really love the Van Cleef & Arpels bottles. I've told you guys over and over, I love the simplistic packaging. I love the little um, decorative piece that they have on the bottle. I just think it looks so pretty. So this is one of my favorite sort of cozy vanillas. This one is a little bit more complex than the Tijota. It's got a little bit more going on. It's a little bit more affordable than the Tijota. Personally, I think they're kind of right on par because I would wear them for the same occasions and I really, really like Orchid Vanille. If you're looking for a vanilla that's not too vanilla, it's not too basic, it's not too plain Jane, you want a little bit more going on, this is a nice one to check out. So this one has vanilla, dark chocolate, vanilla orchid, tonka bean, bitter almond, mandarin orange, violet, white musk, lychee, cedar, and Bulgarian rose. So lots of stuff going on in here, but what I mostly get from this perfume is definitely the vanilla, the chocolate, the orchid, and the orange. For me, those are the four most prominent notes. It does have a little bit of a chocolatey vibe to it. It's also got a little bit of that orangey vibe. I always tell people it kind of reminds me a bit of those Christmas oranges that you can get that are chocolate and you break them apart, but this is more vanilla centric. And because it does have the rose notes and the orchid note and the violet, and it's a little bit more floral, so it's very feminine and it's not a basic vanilla. It's it's beautiful. I'm gonna take the lid off because I wanna smell it again. Um, this one I have had for a long time. I haven't worn it in a while because I've gotten so many new perfumes, but you can see I have put a dent in this and that was just over the course of like one month, um, one to two months I wore this constantly because I loved it so much and I found it so pleasant. Mm, it's just it's just a really pretty, cozy, comforting, come closer scent perfect for the fall and the winter like cool weather i don't know if i would choose it for a date night but if you did i don't think it would be a bad thing because you can't go wrong with vanilla so yeah that is van cleef and arpels orchid Vanille. And absolutely love that one. The next vanilla fragrance is going to have people rolling their eyes a bit because I've talked about it so much lately. So this is Kayali Vanilla 28. And this is honestly one of my favorite vanillas. This is right up there for me, you guys, with my more expensive niche fragrances. The reason I love Kayali Vanilla so much is because I find it to be very easy for grab and go. It's also fairly affordable. So if you're looking for an everyday vanilla, something that you can wear all the time and you don't feel like you're gonna break the bank and go through you know hundreds of dollars in a short period of time this is a great one because most of my other vanilla perfumes are a little bit pricier this one is like that perfect brown sugar vanilla that isn't going to break the bank and it has pretty good performance you guys it's not the longest lasting ever but it's definitely not weak so the notes that you have in here are vanilla orchid and jasmine in the mid you have brown sugar tonka bean and in the base you have amber musk amberwood and patchouli so for me what i mostly get is the brown sugar the tonka bean and the vanilla orchid it is just the most delectable indulgent sexy Mm, I love it you guys. I honestly think what makes this perfume is that vanilla orchid. Vanilla orchid is one of my all-time favorite scents or notes in a perfume rather because it kind of it combines the best of both worlds. It combines a pink floral and a gourmand and it's just the best thing in the world. Um, so this is so compliment getting. It's so pleasant. It's so easy to wear. It's honestly one of my favorite vanillas, which is why it's so high up on the list. Remember, I'm putting these in order of least favorite to most favorite, so which is hard to do, but because they're all amazing. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Kali Vanilla 28, it's a people pleaser. I think most people like how it smells. I'm sure there's some people out there who don't like it, but I love this one. So I always get compliments on this one when I wear it too. People can smell it and you smell great when you wear this. So Kaylee Vanilla 28. My second favorite vanilla and the last one on this list is Mazzolari Vanillia. And this one is another niche fragrance. It's a little bit expensive, but it's not quite as expensive as the Indel Tijota. Um, but I think this one is honestly worth every penny, you guys. So this is one of the most sweet, delectable, indulgent, addictive, vanilla perfumes I've ever smelt. It is very, very strong. It's very sweet. It's sweeter than the Kaali vanilla. It's actually sweeter than any of the ones on this. 
it's sweeter than any of them on this list. This is the sweetest vanilla that I have. So the notes that you have in here are vanilla, caramel, and orchid. So of course the caramel is what makes it so sweet. It's not just a powdery, musky vanilla. It's vanilla with a pretty hefty dose of caramel, but then they've also added orchid. So again, with that orchid component, it just makes it sexy. It makes it flirtatious. It makes it feminine. The orchid is what turns this into a date night perfume. Same thing with the Cali vanilla. It's that orchid that just takes it and turns it up a notch and makes it sexy, in my opinion. Um, so you guys, I don't even know how to describe this. This is just, it's a very linear, again, not complex, sweet vanilla caramel orchid scent. I don't know, it's a must sniff. The only thing that I have mentioned that I don't care for about this bottle is sometimes it does have a tendency to leak a little bit. Um, it's been doing that since the day I bought it, which is really unfortunate for the price, but I think it's because it came from like further away and I don't know, but it's very concentrated. You can tell just by looking at it, you know, that the juice is so thick and so viscous. It's just very concentrated, extremely long lasting. You guys like this will last you. This will last you until you wash yourself, until you wash your clothes in your hair. Forget about it. Like you're not getting this out and it's just it's sweet and delectable and sexy and vanilla and it's beautiful. I guarantee if you smell this, you're gonna be hooked. It just smells so nice. So this is Mazzolari Vanilla, um, one of the most beautiful vanilla scents I've ever smelled. Love the bottle. And yeah, really nobody needs this much vanilla, you guys. Like you could have any of these and be happy with it. You could have just this and be happy with it. You don't need this many vanillas, but yeah. So that's our second last one. And finally, you guys knew this one was gonna be on this list, didn't you? <laughs> this is my number one favorite vanilla scent in my entire collection. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. So this is definitely a little bit more of an expensive perfume. I think that especially when it comes to vanilla perfumes, you get what you pay for. Um, this is such a long lasting, intoxicating, sexy, seductive, feminine, unique, beautiful vanilla perfume. So there's only three notes that they list in here and that is cardamom, iris, and vanilla. So again, with that cardamom, one of my favorite notes of all time, cardamom is like a powdery, soft, spicy, woody scent. It's one of my favorite spicy notes. Um, it just gives the perfume sort of this like powdery, woody, almost masculine vibe, but not masculine. Cardamom can be unisex, it can be feminine or masculine, and I think they do a perfect job of blending it in here with that vanilla and that iris to make it a feminine powerhouse of a fragrance. So I am gonna take the lid off because you guys, this is the heaviest bottle I have. This is a ridiculously heavy bottle. They have just gone above and beyond with the packaging as only Christian Louboutin can do. <laughs> so I always like to show you guys a close up of the lid. It does have the little red bottom high heel on the top. And then of course we have um, like a little model of the world on top. So this perfume does come with a little cap in case you wanted to travel with it. It does come with a little metal cap that you can replace it with. And this is the bottle without the lid. So the bottle itself is stunning. Red is one of my favorite colors. I'm very much a neutral girl. I like a neutral aesthetic. I like neutral vibes. But if there's one color I love, it's red. This perfume is supposed to evoke the feelings of being at a cabaret in Paris. So if you can imagine the feminine energy that comes from a cabaret, just the colors, the red lipstick, the dresses, the dancing, um, just kind of the sexiness of it, but also it's very sophisticated and classy. Oh my gosh, this is, you guys, this is so good. One of my favorite, favorite perfumes, not just vanillas, one of my favorite perfumes in my entire collection. This was also a blind buy, a very risky, expensive blind buy, but I'm so glad that I purchased it. And I do have to give a shout out to Erin Nicole TV because it was her channel where I very first saw this perfume being talked about. She also loves this perfume. So I will leave a link to her channel down below as well. Check her out if you haven't. Um, but yeah, so this perfume is a little similar to Bois d'Argent and Bois d'Iris, which are also powdery, woody, vanilla scents. But in my opinion, this one is much better. I've smelt the other two. And if you're looking for a more feminine, sexy version of those ones, a more feminine, sexy, flirtatious, kind of a cold smelling, almost has like a cold vibe about it. It's just, it's to die for. It's so good, you guys. And I still haven't had a chance to actually wear it, like properly wear it, because I do want this to be a 
sexy bold date night perfume this is the perfume I'm gonna wear when I'm putting on that sexy red cocktail dress and some high heels and I'm going out to slay this is the one I'm gonna wear so this is a wow factor perfume this is a night out this is a special occasion this is cocktail dress when you just want to feel literally on top of the world that's what you wear on top of the world no pun intended <laughs> that's exactly what this perfume makes me feel like also has amazing performance I've told you guys before the performance factor with this is definitely not lacking I put one spray on my arm and I will smell it all night long and into the night so yeah it's a great perfume with great performance and that's my favorite one so that's it for today's video you guys I hope you enjoyed hearing about these vanilla perfumes please let me know down below what your favorite vanilla perfumes are are there any vanilla perfumes out there that are must sniffs that I should definitely go and check out and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video bye for now this flow, a zero sum game that I will lose there's no sipping past it every time you walk away from me I want you how could I want you more or when did I lose my perspective oh god have I lost it but my cravings for you so shameless can't get enough I've lost you